Well, according to the American Stroke Association, stroke is the number five cause of death and leading cause of disability in, in the United States. A local man's recovering after suffering from a serious stroke multiple times a week. He's doing various types of therapy. As News 6 anchor and health reporter Kirsten O'Connor shows us, he's sharing his story to help others get results for your health. 38-year-old Brandon Watson and his wife Jenica say knowing the signs of stroke can save lives. You know, I was brushing my teeth and all of a sudden I felt this pain in my chest and in my back. And it was like, oh, this is serious. It all happened two years ago when Watson was at his home in Maitland with his son. He called 911 and the operator told him to take an aspirin and walk to his front door to wait for paramedics. So I, I took the aspirin, but immediately I, am, I almost fell to the ground. The next thing he remembers is waking up in the hospital. And he had had an aortic dissection, which we had never heard of before. And um, with that, he also had a stroke. After recovering from surgery, Watson says the stroke is what has impacted his life the most. For three times a week for a year, he's had speech therapy, occupational therapy, and physical therapy all of which he credits for who he is today. After it happened to him, we heard multiple stories. Oh, that's what happened to my neighbor, my dad's friend, or you hear it a lot more. And um, But mostly they die. His wife says family history is extremely important. Their kids, who are four and seven, are now screened every year. And Watson is keeping up with his own high blood pressure. Love your kids daily every second day and take care of yourself for them exactly you know that's the most important thing take care of myself for the kids that's so important the family plans to continue outreach and advocacy for stroke survivors by repeating the message it can happen to anyone at any age getting results for your health kirsten o'connor news six